Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee. If you're new, thank you for clicking and watching today's video. Today's video, as the title states, is going to be kind of like a getting my life back together kind of vlog. I am very motivated and inspired to eat healthy and like just go to the gym and stuff. I haven't been to the gym since the whole COVID thing. So actually before then, because I had canceled my membership in January thinking because I was back in Florida, moving to New York, I was going to have access to like this crazy gym. Little did I know everything would be closed. My gym actually opened up two months ago, but I just wanted to stay safe and kind of just like let things work out and see if I could, you know, join in a safe way. And so far it's been pretty safe. Like I haven't heard anything or anything like that. It hasn't shut back down. I feel like it's a safe time to go back to the gym, take precautionary measures, obviously, like wear my mask, all that good stuff. They take your temperature. I've been down there already and they have like a temperature check. Um, and they clean they have a really clean cleaning process i don't think i'm gonna go today but i might go in the next few days and get my fitness back on track i'm so freaking excited i'm the kind of person where when i'm healthy in the gym and like my physical body it kind of gravitates towards my diet and stuff i feel like if one of them is missing it's really hard to get the other one on track because i feel like they're both like hand in hand if i eat better I work out better if i'm not working out i feel like shit and i eat health unhealthy so it's not a good relationship <laughs> but i am on a health kick it's also the end of the year which i feel like also gives me like an inspiration kick and then i just got back like i said which also gets me a clear fresh space to work with and it's the start of a new month so we're in a good headspace right now and i'm taking full advantage of that so i'm going to do my meal prep in this little portion of the video i'm going to meal prep my dinner and my lunch and then i'll show you guys kind of what i'm eating for breakfast um, and then some snacks and stuff. Starting with my breakfast over here, I picked up these instant uh, oatmeals. This is just like literally plain oatmeal. The only ingredient is oats. I put this with like boiling water and then I top it with whatever toppings I'm feeling for the day. So like fresh fruit, I have some blueberries. I do have some bananas, even apples. I might do like a cinnamon apple. Um, I sweeten it with honey and then add some like nuts or grains and seeds and stuff like that. That's gonna be my breakfast. I also have stuff for smoothies up here. I'm pretty open with breakfast. And I also have cereals, so dependent on like my mood, if I'm in the mood for cereal, if I'm in the mood for like warm food, and I'm super hungry, I might do oats, and then if I'm like craving a smoothie or something like that, I'll do frozen fruit or some cereal with fruit. I'm pretty easy with breakfast, I'm pretty open. As for uh, my snacks, I'm gonna boil some eggs here to have fresh and ready. I picked up these, I used to snack on these all the time, they're a great like salty snack if you're craving salty, it's like super low calories and doesn't make you feel heavy or full after. Um, they're just whole grain rice cakes. I picked up some gingerade. I don't know if they changed the look of these because it used to look way different, but I read the ingredients. It's the same exact thing, but this is the Synergy Gingerade uh, Kombucha. It's like pretty much the only kombucha that I actually like the flavor of. So I picked up a whole bunch of those. For sweets, if I'm ever craving any sweets, I picked up these fig bars, the raspberry ones. I have a whole bunch. I have some fresh fruit. Like I said, I have apples. I picked up some oranges and then bananas. For lunch, I'm kind of bummed because let me tell you something. Um, I'm going to make a salad tuna. A tuna salad. <laughs> a salad tuna. A tuna salad. So I picked up some tuna. I do have some light mayo that I'm going to add as like the base. I have fresh veggies, so cucumbers and tomatoes. And I wanted a red onion and I just realized my Amazon grocery person didn't drop off my red onion. I'm kind of upset, but I'm not going to go downstairs and get it. To add a crunch, I'm just going to add some banana peppers. But typically I would like a red onion, but next time we'll do it. And then I'm going to top it with lettuce to get in at my greens. And then as for dinner, I'm going to do salmon so i'm going to cut these fillets in half so that'll be four dinners and then i'm going to add um, some steamed broccoli and i actually forgot pop this bad boy out we're going to do some yellow potatoes i feel like i always need a carb if i don't have a carb i'm starving so that's kind of the gist of the uh, meal prep that i'm going to be doing here that's my breakfast lunch dinner and then my snacks not too strict but also very healthy clean ingredients and i feel like i'm just going to feel so much better and having them like already made will be easy and i'm not making anything that i haven't had before so i know all this is good typically when i <laughs> do meal prep don't do this you meal prep a whole bunch of stuff that you've never had before and then you end up hating it and you're like i just did all that for no reason and i have nothing else in the house besides chips i'm gonna eat chips for lunch you know <laughs> that's what i typically do but i've had all of these before and i like them all so we're good on that and then yeah let's do some meal prep
All right guys, here's the final product of the meal prep, I guess, that I did. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be adding lettuce to my tuna salad. I'm not gonna put it in here because I know it'll get like gross and wilted. And I'm probably gonna be adding a little bit of sea salt. I have some hard boiled eggs here for a quick snack. These are like the best snacks because they're not super high in calorie. They make you so full. It's a good source of protein and it's very satisfying. <laughs> I really like boiled eggs. And then as for my dinners, like I said, salmon, potatoes, broccoli. I added a little lime wedge and we are set to go time to go back to the gym i am all dressed up and we are on our way to the gym i'm so freaking excited i haven't been to the gym since december and if you guys remember i used to post a ton of like gym content it's like where i thrive i feel like and it just makes me feel so much better it gives me a lot of good energy it makes me feel better about myself i'm just like so stoked um, i'm gonna take you guys along with me i'm gonna be setting up my account today i'm gonna keep it slow paced at first so i'm gonna do 15 minutes on the stairmaster to get some cardio in and then like probably 15 minute abs so it's just a quick 30 minute workout that way i'm not like just bombarding myself with the gym because i don't think i'm even close to where i was in terms of strength or stamina when I was going to the gym in December and the gyms here have been open since I think September so um, I just wanted to wait a little bit and now I feel a little bit more comfortable I went down there earlier this month and they had like temperature checks and stuff like that and I felt pretty safe with what they're doing obviously I'm gonna wear masks and stuff like that and just keep it as safe as possible I'm gonna go to the gym I'm so so much better i was literally like on the stairmaster for two minutes and i felt like a huge adrenaline rush of just like endorphins going and i'm just so freaking happy right now I ended up doing like 60 percent of what i felt like i could do that way i don't like burn out and then i have some planning to do i'm probably gonna hop in the shower here in a little bit and then get ready i'm going to grab a drink with a friend tonight but before that i want to show you guys i got a whiteboard like a calendar whiteboard which i used to do back in college and i just like had my grind together when i had the whiteboard i don't feel like it's the best like aesthetic look but i'm gonna end up putting it right here because i feel like no one can really see it and i'm actually moving my desk over here because i'm getting a table in this week so it doesn't even realistically make sense to put my whiteboard here but i honestly just like thrive when i have everything like laid out in front of me i just like it spread out on like a wall where i can see everything kind of like in one spot so i'm gonna take a shower but then i'll like plan with you guys i'm gonna do a workout split for the upcoming week and again i'm probably just gonna do like 60 70 percent of like what i'm capable of just again so i don't like burn out so yeah let me hop in the shower real quick and then we'll do that together Together. this is the whiteboard that i got i picked this up on amazon i'll link it down below and then i just picked up these expo markers which i really like because it's like four markers only but you have eight colors i used to have like my college classes and then my work and then i had youtube as like my side hustle and it was just like all spread out right in front of me and just simplified my goals a little bit i'm gonna put it on this wall right here let's do it you get to acting like a hot shot now your body bleeding from the hot shot Oh, I ain't tryna be no up doc No, oh, I ain't tryna be no up doc My daddy left from Palestine and Houston in a coffin Nah, he ain't dead, but mentally we probably lost him I feel like Kendrick Perkins running 5 on 5 in Boston Cause I've been running way too long, now I just feel exhausted Cause I've seen 18 weeks at 18 I've carried so much weight like I green I've done things I can't believe I am all planned out. I love this so much. You can see the city in there. I'm getting my life together. Let me show you guys. Hopefully you can see this. 
I feel like a teacher. Okay guys, welcome to class. Get your textbooks out. So I went ahead and just filled it out for November. If you see the green dots here, those are days that I'm putting out a video. Anything red are just like appointments and stuff that I need to remember. I'm gonna fill the workout stuff as I go and that's in blue. So for example, today I did the Stairmaster and abs and for next week, I wanna do running, legs on Tuesday, yoga on Wednesday, arms and back on Thursday, and then Friday is cardio and abs. That's my workout cut. Is that what they call it? Workout split? Is that what it is? Basically like the days that you do what, what is a workout split? Anyway, so yeah, that's that. Okay, so over here on my to-do list, I don't know if you can see it, on the days that I'm filming, I just put the what I exactly was filming. The lime green dots here are any sponsored videos. And then on the sides here, I just put what sponsored those are. For example, on the eighth here, we have this video already set to go live, like I finished it. So I'm just gonna put a big X like that over it because it's done. And then it's already been like approved and stuff, so I'm just gonna cross it out like that. Um, I'm still waiting on this one, so this one might end up moving a little bit. And I'm currently filming right now the one that's going to go live on Friday. How many bonus videos do we have? We have three bonus videos this week. Um, so these three are going to be bonus videos that I'm actually filming this one right now. So once it's done, again, I'll just cross it off. And then this is like something that I used to do all the time that just like really helped me. And I haven't done it in quite a bit. I'm going to make a daily intention. Every time I wake up, I'm just going to think about something that I want to work on, whether that's like not complaining, um, showing gratitude. It's just gonna be one simple thing that I'm gonna take with me throughout the day and focus my actions on that goal that I have for myself. And it's just gonna be very personal goals, nothing like I wanna work out or like tangible things. It's just something to kind of like a word or a mantra to hold with me throughout the day. My AC is about to turn on, so just heads up. Um, and then MITs, I used to do MITs all the time. I'm gonna bring those back. MIT stands for most important tasks. And so I focus on three tasks for the day and those are more like check off kind of things, not like an actual intention. So for example, like if my three goals are like, I wanna work out in the morning, I wanna edit a vlog and I wanna clean my house. Like I'm gonna pick three things that I need to focus on before I focus on everything at once, that could be very overwhelming, especially like little tasks or little mundane things. Or you could add a big task, like figure out your health insurance. Like today I'm gonna knock that out. I'm gonna figure it out. That's something that I did on Saturday. That was like my big goal actually. And it's just something I've been dreading and I don't have to like call a lot of people. And there's lots of tasks within that big task, but just focusing on the concept of figure out the health insurance. I got it done and it doesn't seem as overwhelming because I'm not thinking about everything else I have to do. So like, for example, let's say I worked out, I can cross that off and then cross this off once I'm done editing and then once I clean my house here and then you can just set another three MITs and then focus on those as the day goes on. Just put your most important tasks, the top three and work three at a time. It really does help. So yeah, that's my little planning session. I feel like this is so nice to have. I also have like my video planner here that I also will be using. I'm excited, but I wanna sit down and chat with you guys for a second. I feel like the AC will go off in a second. But, like I mentioned probably a couple times in this video, I get so inspired by the end of the year. I don't know what it is, but I just get really excited for like the holidays and stuff and like knocking off to-dos. And I'm a big like restart person. I like hitting that reset button. So I just feel like it's so much easier to start at a starting point rather than like starting in the midst of all your problems. And the new year is really big for me because this year has been the toughest year of my freaking life. Having the end of 2020 like actually marked on a calendar and starting fresh with what I learned this year is just a really relieving and exciting feeling for me. And the holidays is something that I also really love because I feel like I work really hard and work makes me so happy. And Vlogmas, like posting out a video, if you guys aren't familiar with Vlogmas, it's basically a vlog every single day for the month of December up until Christmas. I feel like sometimes I get too wrapped up in my content or I think too hard and I compare myself, but with Vlogmas, like when you're knocking them out like this, you don't really have time to think like, should I do this? Did I look stupid in this? Or that wasn't a really great video because you're constantly moving on to the next. So it's just like a really good hustle for me. In terms of New Year goals, I always set so much for myself in the New Year and it's something that I'm constantly trying to improve myself. I never wanna just like 
be steady or decline in my personal growth. It's just really freaking exciting for me. I thrive on this stuff. If you can't tell, my face is probably beaming. Like I'm just so excited. It's a lot of planning and I love planning, but it's super important to also implement those plans. It can be really easy to get wrapped up in the planning and the excitement of the planning, but like executing it is a different story. The reason why I feel like getting the whiteboard and getting my gym membership and keeping up with my meal prep and keeping up with being healthy, it's gonna be easier once the new year comes around. Cause I feel like sometimes we all like are like oh it's the holidays like whatever i'm just gonna not focus on my goals i always have january 1st to start and then january 1st comes and then you either one don't like the goals that you set and you don't it doesn't make sense for your life or you don't enjoy it as much as you thought or it's hard to do and then you just end up giving up or you fail and that failure is a big weight on you because it's january 1st and once you fail like you feel like you already fucked it up if you start now you can work with it see what works see what doesn't fail and start again fail and start again create habits out of these goals and just be realistic with it that way by the time new year rolls around you know exactly what you want you're very clear and you've already started so you're getting used to creating these habits for yourself so it's nothing really new it's just more so like keeping it steady and actually creating a daily habit out of it i just want this to be kind of like a video to kind of spark that little push to start this stuff and end the year strong. If you're watching this, start a goal, go start your um, daily habits. Don't be too hard on yourself until the new year rolls around and just play with it. Now's the playing time. January is the executing time. Now's the playing time. That's my little ramble. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. We have a lot of fun content coming up this month and I'll see you guys all in a future video. Love you guys so much. Ooh.